Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I will be demonstrating how you can create background image patterns using CSS and Export Kit Lightning Storm. Now, this is a very simple process and it will create any type of image pattern. So the first step we want to do is we want to basically define an area. So we can use this using a shape or an image, but if you use an image, you're going to have additional assets. So we recommend always using a shape uh, when you're dealing with CSS images. And you can see now with this shape, Shape, what we've done is we've assigned a style. The style name is completely dependent on you. Uh, I'm just calling this test just for argument's sake. So the next step, what we want to do after we have our area, this is where our basic uh, image pattern will be displayed. What we want to do is create a tile to now uh, basically tile the pattern. So we have a quick tile here. This is just a, a black square with a white square. What we've done is we've created CSS styles and we've also added a name to the style, which is test. This is reflective of the style that we've used with the layer. Now, the style names, again, completely depend on you, but you can basically have unlimited patterns and unlimited styles in your output. So let's test this and then let's see what else we can create with it. Now, once we log in, what you want to do is go to the exports and select HTML5. You want to ensure that you have CSS images selected. This will create background images which are required for tiling. So we can just export as is. Okay, and let's just take a look at the output. Now you can see immediately what it did was it created an image tile based on the single tile that we had in Photoshop. So if we go back to Photoshop and we take a look, we can see that we have the individual image tile here. And what this was done is it was tiled uh, in the actual area that we have that we defined for our image. So now there are a lot of things that we can do with this. We can create virtually any type of image pattern. So for argument's sake, let's uh, create a few more. So if we go back to Photoshop, uh, quickly what we can do, because this is a style, we can basically move the style anywhere. It's irrelevant where we actually place the style. Uh, so let's just actually move this back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a few additional styles. Uh, let's make this 900. So if we basically duplicate this layer, uh, let's duplicate it two additional times. Now what we can do, because this is not really a production export and we're just testing, I'm not really going to be uh, too concerned with the layer names. So the only thing we really need to be concerned with is the fact that we need to change the styles that we're using. So I'm going to basically uh, give these different names. So let's call this tile 2. Let's call this tile 1. And this is tile 3. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to basically duplicate our CSS styles and we're going to change them slightly. So uh, let's give this, this is going to be tile, actually let's redeem this, tile 1. This is tile 2. Now you'll see that our names are reflective of the styles that we're going to be using to actually create our image pattern. So if we go ahead and change this, let's make this a checkbox. Uh, And let's just convert both of these to a single object. Okay, so that's a checkbox. And for the last one, let's create, I guess, I don't know, polka dot. Or a dot with a square. Sure, let's go with that. Now what you want to ensure, you'll see that right here we have a shape. We don't want to use a shape for uh, basically an image pattern. The reason is it needs an image. So the quick way to do this is to just convert it to a smart object. And we're going to call this tile 3. Now you'll see that very quickly what we did is we created basically three different tiles to use for our image patterns. Again, it's irrelevant where you actually place them simply because they're styles. They won't be uh, used in the output. It'll actually just compute what the information is. So we're going to save this as a new version and let's call it image patterns full, I guess. Or yeah, sure, full. 
and let's go ahead and let's log in and let's export this and once we log in you just want to go back to HTML and again ensure that you have CSS images selected simply because we're using CSS images and we can go ahead and just export this You'll see here quickly we have a few different image tiles created directly from Photoshop with very little effort. The only thing you really had to do was define your area and basically create your individual tile. Now you'll see here in the checkbox it's not exactly, uh, well you can see that part of it is clipped and this is because the size of our actual render area which is the square might not be the exact dimensions based on the size of the checkbox and this is just depending on how you actually create your pattern if you want it to be uh, perfectly scaled then you just have to have the correct measurements but you can see that this is very simple to use and do CSS background image patterns with export kit